Let's quickly revise another very frequently asked topic in INICT, which is QSOFA score. Hi everyone, I'm Dr. Anshuman Pancholi, your General Surgery Faculty at Diginer. Let's quickly revise another very frequently asked topic in INICT, which is QSOFA score. Quick Sequential Organ Failure Assessment Score. What are the important pointers that you need to know about it? Number one, it is used to rapidly evaluate patients with suspected infection who are at high risk of developing sepsis-related adverse outcomes. Number one. Number two, it is used in non-ICU setting. It's a bedside tool. It is used either in wards or in emergency departments. So basically, imagine it to be like a three-seater sofa. Three parameters are evaluated. So how do we remember the three parameters? By the mnemonic RAP. R stands for respiratory rate. If the breath rate is more than equivalent to 22 per minute, we calculate it as score of 1. A stands for altered mental status or altered mentation. If the GCS is less than 15, we give a score of 1. And P stands for pressure, that is systolic blood pressure. If less than or equivalent to 100 millimeters of mercury, we give a score of 1. If the final score that comes out to be is equivalent to or more than 2, we say that the patient has high risk of poor sepsis related outcome. So what do we need to do in such cases? We need to promptly recognize sepsis, number 1. We need to start broad spectrum IV antibiotics. Number three, we need to go for source control. Jo bhi infected center lines hai ya catheter hai, unko hume nikalna hai. And fourth, obviously, we need to do intensive hemodynamic monitoring. Theek hai? So all are these things that we need to do in a patient who has a score of two or more than two. All right, keep revising and keep studying well for your INICT examinations. Thank you so much.